Well, folks, I made it to the thrift store. I was looking for pieces I could thrift flip into some of my favorite celebrity designer looks in the last year. I got this turtleneck sweater that really, I just love the color of it, but the neck hole has some stiffness that doesn't feel quite right. I feel like it went through the wash a bad way one time and now it's like this. The length of the turtleneck is also a bit frustrating. It feels like it doesn't suit me flipped up or flipped down and there's also this like bagginess in the armpit area probably also due to the rough times in laundry or like resting funny on a hanger we're, we're all guilty we've all been there for what i'm aiming for it's a bit baggy in the arms it's a bit loose on the sides and when it comes to what i'm aiming for this is the inspo we have been spoiled rotten in the last year by great looks from Zendaya thanks to Dune and Spider-Man. She has spent a lot of time on press. Specifically this twist, I really want to attempt it in such a lovely citrusy tone. To do that, you'll just have to get started with a few cuts. My assistant Julia helped me remove the turtleneck as well as cutting it into a crop top length and saving that rectangular strip for turning into the twist. Then we went ahead with making the adjustments we needed like slimming down one of the sides and then flipping it to the other side to get a symmetrical cut, taking off some width from both of the sleeves and then removing the excess fabric at the shoulder so we have the original edge ready for sewing. All right, that leaves us with a torso so sleeve number one sleeve number two as well as two of the excess rectangles that came from the bottom and they're gonna become the twist I think first ah yes I'm going to hem the neck hole just because the twist lies on top so it's kind of hard to hem the neck hole after you've done the twist this is the trick I've been using for hemming knits basically I feel like all of the pandemic ever since I bought this giant roll of elastic. I zigzag stitch the elastic to the opening, fold it over once or twice depending on bulk, and then do one more stretch stitch. Ugh, I don't think I got the tension right on this. Like I should have added a little bit more of a stretch to the elastic and right now the elastic is too slack and it's making a ruffle where I definitely don't want a ruffle. So, time to undo some stitches. While I undo my stitches, I have a quick shout out to this video sponsor. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Is there something interfering with your happiness or is preventing you from achieving your goals? I often try to check in with myself with this type of question. And last year I realized that specifically I, it, me, my mindset, my mentality was the thing coming up the most between me and my goals. I would find it hard to be here on YouTube with you all in a positive way. I know there's no expectation for me to be like, life is perfect, but I just knew I wasn't at my best. I decided to find a therapist. I got to talk about YouTube, but then I also got to talk about incoming parenthood and the fears related to that. Also, like me and my parents were gonna live in the same city for the first time in over a decade, and I wanted to like, think about what life would like that would be. And I wanted to be kinder to myself. There's all these exciting changes, but they come with their own challenges too. So I can now say that finding a therapist was the best decision I made for myself last year. And if you've been thinking about finding a therapist, BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. I feel like if any of you watch a lot of YouTube, you should be very familiar with BetterHelp. But basically, once you're signed up with BetterHelp, you can start communicating within 48 hours. It's not a crisis line or a self-help line. It is professional therapy. It's done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network, which might not be locally available in many areas. Since I met with my therapist in the middle of a pandemic, all of our therapy sessions were done virtually and I actually think it ended up working out really great. The BetterHelp service is available for clients worldwide, wherever you are. You can just log into your account anytime, send a message to your therapist, you will get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, if you want, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you never have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it free and easy to change your therapist if needed. It's more affordable than traditional therapy and financial aid is also available. I think that was one of my biggest barriers in the past was that therapy felt expensive, but BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. So I feel like this is not as long as it took to unpick the stitches, but 
visit betterhelp.com slash wendy that's better h-e-l-p and join the over a million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional there's a special offer for with wendy viewers you will get 10 percent off your first month at betterhelp.com slash wendy and now back to the thrift flip <laughs> let's see how it's going this time with just a little bit more tension on the elastic. Okay, now I can turn it twice and finish with the zigzag stitch. I feel like this could have been maybe a little bit more tension in the elastic, but I think after I put it on, it'll be close. Time for the twist. I'm really not sure how this is going to go, but... We have no choice but to try at, at this point. <laughs> Sorry, got ahead of myself. Actually, I have to hem the front bottom edge first, then the twist. At this shoulder, I've pinned the short end of the rectangle. It curves around, and it's also the other short end pinned here on the side seam. I feel like I'm gonna have to recut this shape to match the armhole. I purposefully put the finished edge on the outer edge of the curve and then the raw edge in the middle just because this is an edge that's going to be hidden later. I'm just going to baste these in and then we'll see what happens here. Marla has joined me at the sewing table. She's strong enough now to hold up her neck pretty well so she can sit front facing. That's nice. Let's set up the other half of the twist. For the raw edges that meet inside the twist, I'm just going to put them right sides together and sew them shut as close to the twist as possible. Just to get a sense of how it's looking, I tried to pin it flush along the two side seams so that it's fully stretched out to its proper layout. And I think there's a little bit of excess fabric here that I'd like to sew away because see when it's when it's allowed to be there, it's kind of weep womp. That's what's nice about putting it on the form. I just find it helps me see if it's all hanging correctly, especially with knits. I will take out all the pins, tuck away that little bit of extra fabric, and then I think I can sew the side seams right sides together. Alrighty. Feels like we're still in business. Yay! Maybe it could be a bit tighter. I'm just gonna attach the sleeves and then see what happens. Woohoo! Holding up my overalls. <laughs> Before attaching the sleeves, I just want to do a check that the armhole and the sleeve circumference are the same size since we did do a lot of adjustments. Looks like the sleeve is ever so slightly bigger than the armhole, and I think that actually is enough that it'll just work itself out. I don't want a perfect fit because then the sleeve will actually like tug on your armhole in a slightly uncomfortable and ill-fitting way. I think this is actually gonna be good. Just got to put them right sides together and reseal it into a tube. Tank top inside out, sleeve right side out, slide in from below and pop out the armhole. Line it all up and sew right sides together. <laughs> Tell me what you're waiting for, the best is all for you I gotta pray some more since I come home to you I think it's been two months since I started this thrift flip, which is like a testament to parenthood, but also to me being 10 years on YouTube and still getting so scared when I start a new project. It's <laughs> just <laughs> frozen. Can't be living in fear. I gotta get this done. Number two, I'm excited. Here we go. I have this lovely black sparkly number. It looks like embroidery on the front, but it's actually hand painted. The reason I picked this is more so because the back is a blank canvas of sparkliness. And this is the inspo, Dua Lipa. Dula Peep in Versace. For the Grammys, she wore this butterfly style outfit and also for the after party, more butterflies. Throwing in this blue marine butterfly situation as well as one of my favorite butterfly icons of all time, Mariah Carey. Butterflies is the theme. 
let's start. Taking a stab at making the butterfly shape, I thought the best approach would be to pin some knit fabric onto my dress form and just freehand it from there because it might not look correct when it's lying flat, but it has to look right when it's on the curvature of a body. <laughs> Here's the outcome. Woo I just did this in a ribbed knit because I wanted something comfortable and it's a bit more sturdy of a knit so hopefully it gives a bit more predictability when I'm working with it. Not quite sure how long I needed to leave the body of the butterfly. With this as the template, Julia helped me cut it out in the sparkly material. What am I doing next? I'm trying to decide if I need to add interfacing to further provide structural stability to this. Okay, I've chosen this interfacing. It is fusible, so that makes it easy to attach to the fabric. I basically only work with fusible interfacing and it has a slight bit of give in one direction. I'm hoping this will be a nice compromise of structure while also a little bit of flexibility. I'm just gonna iron this to the rib knit and cut it off the excess. She's back now with reinforcement and I'm going to sew this ribbed knit with the sparkly knit right sides together. Somewhere in here I need to leave a gap so I can flip it inside out pillow style. Also when I'm doing the shoulders I need this long sparkly noodle to get tucked in somewhere. This is just a long skinny rectangle of the sparkly fabric sewn right sides together, flipped inside out black sparkly noodles and I'm going to take these little loops and sew them in like this. Form little loops for my sparkly spaghetti to go through. Hey dad, dad. Hey dad. Taking it. This is my pin cushion. Oh, you can look but don't touch. Okay sweetie, we're going to get sewing, all right? Okay, managed to get ready. Did a little green eyeshadow <laughs> stitch. And there were a few last minute changes. There were loops here, but Julia helped me sew in the two strings instead to make the antenna. It just feels a bit more secure. Julia also helped me sew shut the bottom of the butterfly. Honestly, huge thanks to Julia for making this thrift flip possible. If you're wondering how thrift flip with taking care of Marla is going, the answer is Julia. Julia is making all the difference. <laughs> and then on the back, it's just like a total crazy crisscross lace-up situation. I don't know. I just went free form <laughs> until I was happy with the outcome. So here's how it turned out. Falling in love with you is like a nose dive. No parachute. No backup plan. I knew I would 